Hello again, loyal Dirty Shop fans, if there are any of you and other people. Uh, just a quick update on the screen door. I'm going to have to do a little change to this project. Hopefully none of you have uh, gotten carried away building this. Uh, you'll be able to fix it if you copy me, and I'll just show you the update. I've come up with a solution to the problem. So basically, the screen door works pretty darn good. It uh, it rolls down nicely, it sticks to the wall nicely, it seals up and all that stuff. That's not a problem. The issue was is that uh, younger people, little kiddies, when they were getting into the trailer had a tendency to pull on it to help them up and it pulled my tape off the wall here. You can see it pulled this stick -um off the wall. For adults, it wasn't a big issue. Uh, we just tended to push the door open and go in. So it was no problem and no, no issue there. But the kiddos, the kiddos getting in and out would kind of pull on this and it was it pulled it off the wall basically right so we can't have that I've got a solution it shouldn't be too difficult and I'll show you how okay first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rip off this velcro uh, because we no longer need it. So if you've never used a seam ripper before, this is a handy little tool that are available in any sewing store or anywhere you buy sewing stuff, and they're great for ripping out seams, obviously. I uh, managed to lose all the rest of the sewing for this uh, project, but uh, all I did was take this Velcro off, and then I put, uh, I folded the top over into a one and a half inch hem for my crossbar, and then I cut a little notch out of the corner so that my hinge would line up with my uh, with the edge of the of the screen door, and then I sewed a couple handles along the edge so that I could close it from the outside and uh, that pretty much covers it for this piece. Okay, so I finally got this dialed in. I had to add a couple little bits and pieces, but it's good to go, it's working. So I'll pick you up here and you can see I've got a spring bungee cord here, right? I just attached it to one of the screw holes I had there. And I've come back here and I've got a little toggle here that can adjust the tension on that cord. And now when I pull the door, it stretches that cord out and then closes it again and the door closes automatically, which is real nice, right? And if I don't want to close it, I can just pop this up. If I want to leave the door open, I just pop that off the end. The door will stay open. So I can do that. Put it back on there. There we go. I may need to make a little bit of a catch for this because right now I'm just putting it behind there. So up here you can see it's got I've got these three screws here. I just drilled and tapped it for uh, 1024 because there's the door frame post is right here. There's a three inch wide steel beam here that's the frame of the door. So that supports that really nice. You could do this with uh, heavy sheet metal screws as well. You can see I've got this hanging down here at an angle as opposed to up. So I've got the, the bin down. And if I had it up, then that bin would jam in that hole on top and it wouldn't be smooth. But because I've got it down, it doesn't jam. I put it so that the, uh, the hinge point is right over the magnets here. And now the magnets on this side basically just stay on the whole time. I can still roll it up. I got my rolling pieces here. I've just got they've got a magnet on the end still, so I can just magnetize those on. If I want to roll it up, I'll just roll it up and then I'll attach it the same way as I had before. So now 
it works pretty good. I also added down here a couple little pull handles on the door and you can see on the bottom there I've got a, a steel rod that I just put into the fold. I just put that into the fold and I left it bent here. I could probably make that a straight rod, a one piece rod as opposed to two. Um, but for right now I've got it just a, a break in it so that it's not uh, super rigid and getting in the way of things. Uh, but I may change that out in the future, but I got a couple handles there. It magnetizes on nicely and that rod keeps it right on the floor, which is good because that way nothing can get on the bottom. And when it opens, it just sticks up and it can bend and flex um, really nicely. Uh, so there it is. It took a little more fiddling than I thought to make it that way, but this is probably the way I should have done it the first time. I just was being a little lazy. But if you wanted to keep with the original design, and just have it rolled down, which was really simple and nice. Uh, I would just put a couple of screws in the top of it or in, in that piece of Velcro up here. I would just screw that Velcro down, put a couple of screws, maybe a washer on it so that that Velcro doesn't peel up and it'd be fine. I could have fixed it that way, but I decided I wanted something a little more me, a little more technical. So there it is. Pretty good. Beauty. I like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on The Dirty Shop.